Hi friends, I am back again with a new video. I hope you all are fine and well. So today I will be explaining about the C character set. So now comes on is what is the C character set? So the C character set in C programming language is the set of all valid characters like alphabets, digits and special symbols that can be used to from words, numbers and expressions in source programs. Now let us look at the classifications of C character set. So look here, the character set in C are classified in the following categories. So firstly they are classified as letters, then digits, next white spaces, then special characters. Now let us have a look in brief that what type of letters, digits, white space and special characters are used in C programming languages. So for letters, you can look here, lowercase letters are used in the character set of C. So lowercase small letters from A to Z, all 26 letters or alphabets like A, B, C, D. So those lowercase letters are used in the character set of C. Next comes letters that is uppercase. So same as the lowercase, uppercase letters, all 26 uppercase letters A to Z all are used in the character set of C. Next digits. So what types of digits are used in the character set of C? You can look here. Digits from 0 to 9 and all decimal digits. Next comes special characters. So the special characters like exclamation mark, then at the rate, then this one, you can say it as number sign or hash. Next dollar, then percentage, then this is called as caret, then this end is called as ampersand, and this star is called aesthetic. And many more special characters are used in the character set of C. Next comes white spaces. What are these white spaces? Actually, these white spaces does not give a visible mark, but occupies an area in the page when you type a C program. Okay. So these white spaces are tab or new line. Like in the program, we write slash n for tab slash t or space. So what happens in white spaces? It does not give a visible mark, but it occupies some area in the page. So now let us see all the special characters that are used in C. So look here, this symbol, it is called tilde. Next, this is called exclamation mark. Next comes at the rate. This symbol is called at the rate. Next, this is has or you can say it number sign. Next comes dollar sign. Then comes on percent sign or percentage. Then comes caret. Then this end, it is called ampersand. Then this star, it is called aesthetic. Then this bracket, it is called left parenthesis. This closing of this bracket, it is called right parenthesis. This one is called underscore. When you will type a C program, you will come to know the use of underscore. Then this is called plus sign. This is called vertical bar. Then this sign is called backslash. Then this sign is called apostrophe. This is the minus sign. Then this is called equal to sign. Then this opening of this bracket is called left brace. The closing of this bracket is called right brace. Opening of this bracket, this kind of bracket, it is called left bracket. Then closing of this bracket, it is called right bracket. Now you look here. There are three kinds of brackets used in C, but all those brackets have got some different names. You see here, this bracket, opening of this bracket, it is called left parenthesis. Closing of this bracket, it is called right parenthesis. Then this kind of bracket, the opening of this bracket, it is called left brace. Then this is the right brace. Then this kind of bracket is called left bracket. Closing of this kind of bracket is called right bracket. So these are the three brackets that are used in C programming language. Now this is called colon. Then this symbol is called quotation mark. Now comes on this important symbol. It is called semicolon. Then this is called opening angle bracket. Then closing of this symbol is called closing angle bracket. 
now comes on this symbol it is called question mark then comes on this symbol it is called comma then this point it is called period then this is called slash there are two types of slash one is like this and one is like this you have got above here look this this is called backslash and this is called only slash okay so this is the difference of the two slashes so dear friends i have listed out all the special characters and the special characters that i have marked with red are most commonly used while typing a c program so when you note out these special characters just remember the symbols that i have marked with red so friends in the next class i will come with a new topic called delimiters in c so friends that was all for today hope you all have understood well of today's lecture if you like this video then like the video comment below share with your friends and subscribe my channel for more videos and please check out my playlist soon i will come back with a new video till then stay safe take care and bye